Hi, my lovely friends. Welcome back to the lovely Stranger Tarot. My name is Jasmine. I am Pisces Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Aquarius Rising. Hi, and welcome back, my lovely friends. Um, thank you so much that you clicked on that video. Uh, first of all, I have a disclaimer um, for you to make because maybe um, when you uh, are a subscriber or watch my videos regularly, then you might notice that um, I didn't upload um, the last week. And um, right now I'm very, very busy. And uh, yeah, probably um, I cannot maintain the, um, the schedule um, within the next few weeks. Um, because, yeah, I have um, some stuff to do and uh, yeah, it, but you know, when everything has settled, then I will go back to my schedule, but um, it will change also um, from next week on. I will upload on Monday morning um, around six o'clock Berlin time. Um, right now I am uploading on Sunday, um, 5 p.m. Berlin time. So this will be like around 12 hours later. And um, so I have maybe a chance to do this, um, you know, on the weekends. Right now I use my weekends a lot and maybe I can finish the videos on uh, Sunday this way. So um, you have some content, okay? So let's start. Today's topic will be the traits that people love about you. We have four piles as usual. This is pile number one. This is the lovely fluorite. Number two is this red jasper. Pile number three is the green agate. And pile number four is the gold quartz. So if you need more time, then pause the video here and I see you at your pile. Hi, pile number one. Uh, let's see what are the traits that people love about you and see which card you got. You have wide open, Irene, peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Guardian Angel. You are not alone. And for the tarot cards, you have... Um, in this reading, there will be no reversal. So, you have Temperance. The High Priestess. The Two of Pentacles. And the Empress. You have a very, very feminine energy. Um, even though you might be um, a male, like from gender, you still have a lot of divine feminine energy. Because we have um, the both, yeah, um, you know, um, complementary um, female energies from the major Kana. We have the number two, the um, the high priestess, and also uh, we have the empress. You know, and we also have temperance. So I think you are a very very balanced person, especially when you are. Um, and this is also, you know, the, the Two of Pentacles also means you are very balanced, okay? Um, if you know maybe the Rider Waite deck, the original, um, there is a guy juggling the Two Pentacles and dancing um, whilst doing this. So you are very, very balanced within yourself and i think you're very um you have a very round personality you know i mean you are a very very smart person um you um maybe like to read you um are on one hand you are probably more than of an introvert um you know like to read like to um, educate yourself on topics you're really interested in but on the other hand, you also have this very fertile, um, attracting energy. You know, the um, the full, rich, 
um, femininity, okay? So, um, especially when you're a woman, um, I think you might be very, very um, liked by the male, <laughs> you know? They probably are very attracted to you and you have a lot of suitors. Um, yeah, with the Temperance card, um, you're very, very balanced person. You um, juggle um, like all of all your traits very very um, gracefully so that you never um, are you know bound on one trade you just have a variety of traits to bring forth forward so um, the people will see you as balanced and I think you were also and this ties in with the Empress card you're a very open person so um, people that um, are meeting you for the first time will probably think about you that you are very open that you are a very um, kind person that um, you have um, like a lovely energy around you and that you're very warm-hearted okay and probably they will think of you as maybe a, a little bit of a motherly figure especially when you're a woman but also when you're a man um yeah you have more of an uh, feminine energy around you there is not much um of a masculine energy to be honest um we have a lot of female energy we have a lot of females the only and this is not really a male that is in your spread is um with the temperance this is uh, i think archangel gabriel if i'm not mistaken and um yeah angels don't have a gender actually so um yeah this is a lot of female energy and i think um you are more like the motherly type people that uh, know you they um, will describe you as a very um, nurturing person very peaceful person balanced um, it says there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully i think um and look at her she also there there is like a little bit of the sim symbols of um the empress here too we have um the grapes and the child i mean the empress is usually pregnant so um maybe you have children um and this is what people tie into like they think you know if you have children they say like oh yeah she's a beautiful mother she's a very a uh, good mother um if you have no children then probably people think like ah she will be a really good mom okay um or she's just a very motherly type um ah come here <laughs> there you have the let go card i think um yeah this ties in with all uh, of the cards actually beautifully because the let go card you are not not forceful in your demeanor and um you're just very soft you're very kind um feminine very attracting things to you uh, you let go like when you want something you think about it you manifest it and then you let go so you can attract things it's not that you have masculine en energy that you go for something so um probably um you will have opportunities coming out of nowhere because you're just attracting them and uh, because this is because you let go of things you think about it you want it you 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 would like to have it and then you let it go and it will come to you and this is very very beautifully okay and then you have the guardian angel you are not alone so probably people think about you as an angel like an angelic being um, when they think about you we have a lot of blue by the way um, so uh, like a little bit of a Mother Mary vibe so um, people think about you as a really motherly warm um person like an, an earth angel and um it says you are not alone so i think you gather a lot of people around you so um you have probably have a lot of friends maybe your home is never um yeah it's never empty i think you have a lot of visitors people come especially when you have children i think other children like the friends of your children go uh, in and out of your house and um, i think 
everybody loves to be at your home because they feel so much at peace and so protected um, in your surrounding. Okay, so pile number one, you're a very, very beautiful person, very motherly, very feminine and soft. And this is what people love about you. I hope you like that and uh, you will turn in next week. Bye. Welcome back, pile number two. Let's see what cards I have for you. We have making a choice. Spark, Green Tara, start delegating, ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself, Artemis, Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected, Strength, Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Then you have a knight. Be brave and honest. Then you have strength again in the tarot cards. You have the six of wands. The five of wands. And you have the judgment card. Wow, pile number two. This is very beautiful. You, I, I am just, you know, I'm just like very impressed, like how this reading is so round and so, yeah, well, you know, I, I was actually expecting the strength tarot card, to be honest, because I was like, you know, this is this kind of person. Pile number two, you are a born leader. You probably um, know this already. You are a person um, that can, um, yeah, that, that can uh, lead the masses, okay? Um, where do I start? Um, I think let's start from the night. Be brave and honest. I think this is one of your traits. This, um, yeah, this is, um, we have a lot of warriors. We have the strength card here again, and this shows a warrior. We have the Artemis. This is, um, she also has bow and arrow and uh, also the strength card. But, you know, you are a fighter. You fight for, um, for the truth for the um yeah for the truth for the good in 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 the world okay yeah i would say that even because this is so like i have the feeling you are such a brave and um standing tall person you you are very grounded in yourself you know exactly what is right and what is wrong and you are not afraid to um, fight for the things you want. I mean, you have the strength card twice. <laughs> so um, I think um, you you had a lot of battles already in your life and I think they made you very strong. I think um, you know exactly what to do um, to uh, make a change within your life or also in other people's life, okay? Um, made you strong and courageous so you're very courageous you you um you are not um, afraid of putting yourself out of fighting maybe you're an activist for uh, like an, an uh, environmental activist or um maybe you are um like an activist in uh like in, 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 in talking, you know, like um, a counselor of some sort. Um, I, I, I'm drawn to the, the music. So maybe you are an artist that uses this platform to um, just talk about maybe like uh, environmental issues or um, issues within the society. 
Um, but um, yeah, I think you always do the right thing. This is what people really love about you. You always make the right decision. So um, you're, I mean, you're a normal person, but um, whenever you have a choice between two things, you will always choose um, the, the truthful one. Okay, so even if it's um, more difficult, um, you will be honest. You will not um, deceive. You will not cheat to reach a goal. You would never do that. And probably um, you are because, I mean, you probably have a lot of people that are depending on you or that maybe, um, I mean, they love you too, of course, but um, they are protected by you. They are a little bit like you are the king and they are um, the, um, you know, the public, the person, you know, the, the people. You are the king and they are the people. You protect them and they rely on you. And this might be a hard burden for you, um, and they say like, you know, you can, sometimes you can, you can release a little bit of the burden and ask people to uh, carry it with you. You are not alone, especially when you maybe ask uh, Quan Jin and, um, you know, ask for her help and she will help you with the burden because I think, um, maybe, um, this is not a burden you can feel, but um, it still is um, kind of a burden because you, you know, most people, they try to take a shortcut or deceive a little um, and there is nothing too wrong with that. But your inner compass won't allow you this because you are so you know, so pure hearted that you will say like, no, I will not do this. I will do this the right way. And this can bring you burden because it will take you a lot longer, maybe, because you will choose the right way, the honor, the honest way and the honorable way. So um, this might take you a little bit longer and maybe you see people that you went to school with or so like um, they are ahead of you because um, they take shortcuts, but you won't do that. You will you will learn the things from uh, from the bottom to top. You will not um, take any shortcuts and you are very focused too. Yeah, you have the Artemis card. This is uh, the virgin um, war goddess, the goddess of war. She um, she was protecting also, again, the warriors and um, she will protect nature too. So I really guess um, you will not go against um, your conscious Okay, so um, I think um, you 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 want to t um, to keep a clean conscience. So this is why you do this. You want to stay true to yourself, and this is like people really admire that in you. Okay, and uh, but you will be successful in the end, even though it takes a little bit longer than uh, other people because they take shortcuts. But you will be um, very successful. You will win the, the fight okay i mean uh this card the six of ones is the minor arcana uh you know um yeah the 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 um success card okay he won the battle and now people they cheer up to him and yeah like i said the five of ones um you're not afraid to go into conflict um you're not go uh, not afraid to um go into conflict even with people that are maybe like uh, hierarchically um higher than you and you will um go into conflict for people so you will um like when you see there are weak people um that cannot defend themselves you will defend them okay and yeah like i said you are um yeah you you are actually this is not on the, on this card but actually you are Maat. um you know you are the, the the goddess of um equality um of truth okay with the feather of truth and you know your heart will be weighed and your heart will um 
will be the right uh, amount of weight, okay? Because you are always true to yourself. You keep a clean conscience. You, um, you are true to yourself. You are true to your beliefs. And this is, you, you're firm. You're standing very firm. And this is what people love about you. And you seem like a very, very interesting and very, um, honest person <laughs> and my cat came to visit um yeah pile number two i hope you like that i definitely definitely do and i will hope i will see you next week bye welcome back pile number three <laughs> let's see what cards you have you have metamorphosis i hope i said that right <laughs> Ghost lands. Eine leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Oh yeah, this is. I actually um, was clearing clarifying this card it was the school card the answer that you are seeking involves going to school so the spiritual teacher is clarifying school and i cannot make that up you know i was like school okay let's clarify and <laughs> out came the spiritual teacher oh. then you have the oracle wait for important information you have summer, bask in joy and light. Then you have the magician. You have one more tarot cards than you, card than the others. You have Ace of Swords because it fell out, so I was taking it. You have the devil. Oh, in this reading, we'll know uh, reversal. You have the knave of chalices or the um what's it called the uh yeah you know the yeah I, it, it would come to my mind back to my mind and you have the knight of chalices or the knight of cups so I think, um, yeah, you are, so much can I say, pal number three, you are a spiritual teacher. Maybe um, it says you who with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Um, maybe you are also a tarot reader, or maybe um, you are channeling. I mean, I do that too. Um, I read the cards intuitively. So, um, and this is kind of channeling the uh, messages um, and maybe you do that maybe you do automatic writing or maybe um, you have like all, only like a I mean only you have a very strong connection to your spirit guides so um, but I think you definitely have a very healing quality to you okay and um, yeah you it says here Oracle wait for important information so probably you will receive important information from your spirit guides you're probably you know that uh, bees they um, they produce propolis and this has a lot of healing it's actually like a byproduct of um, you know the bee wax uh, but it, it it really has healing properties you can uh there are um like um, um like it's almost like candy so you uh you eat it and then it covers you know your um the soft tissue in your mouth so and it will uh, kill bacteria so um you know it's a byproduct i think you don't even know that you have healing properties i think uh, you have a very healing and soothing um aura and people really are drawn to that and i think you are also um 
very brave person. Um, not like, um, I mean, if you are drawn to, then watch number two. But um, it, number two was a little bit different energy. This person was really brave. But you are also, but in a different way, okay? Um, because you are not afraid to take any risks, okay? You are not afraid to... Um, change yourself to change your circumstances change your life okay maybe you um had already some hardships within your life and you were um yeah maybe you were devastated but still you um would you know pu you pull yourself out on your own hair okay from the situation i think um you are uh yeah i mean we have also the magician you know this is alchemy i think you are able to um use alchemy in your life so um let's say you have a very very bad job okay you 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 know your co-workers they talk um bs about your uh, about you behind your back and uh you you get paid like only minimum wage <laughs> and um you know you really dislike your job and uh but you know you are able to um f you know you just manifest a new one because you are smart you have all the tools that you need and you're not afraid you know to go out even like let's say you're a waitress and uh but you want to do something else and you're not afraid to uh, go out and strive for something uh better for yourself okay so you are uh you have all the tools like the magician and you i think you can manifest very very well and this is why you are trans forming all the time because you manifest um, better things you know even better things into your life and uh, yeah I think you can manifest a lot of wishes into uh, reality so people will probably wonder um, how does he or she make it you know um, yeah, he was a he was a waiter before, and now he's like uh, owning his own company, making uh, I don't know, uh, eighty thousand euro or eighty thousand dollar a year. Okay, and um, yeah, you know, people don't see the work that that's behind that because it seems effortlessly for you. Okay, it's like the um, you know, like the butterfly here. You see that uh, you don't see the work you know the caterpillar needs to uh, yeah to change to um, have a metamorphosis to be this beautiful butterfly and um, it takes a lot of strength and it um, needs a lot of um, yeah, blood sweat and tears but um, people don't see that okay it seems so effortlessly and I think you really had hard times in your life, but um, still, you know, the Ghostland card is about um, being in the now. I think this is why you are such a good manifester. I think you are in the now, and uh, even if the reality is not that good, then you still stay there. You keep grounded, you keep breathing, and... Um, yeah, I did this. I think your heart chakra is very, very strong. Okay, so I think um, you can ground yourself. Um, no, we don't have... Yeah, we have a little bit of green. I was thinking like maybe we find a little bit of green. But I think um, you're very grounded. I think uh, you can uh, settle yourself in the now. So you can manifest... Um, throughout the now into your future this is how you do it okay and i think you're very clear you don't overthink things you yeah you're not in your head too much you're in the now you're in your body this is um why you are like manifesting things like that okay um you're just very clear-headed you don't um you know you're not fogged up in your head you exactly know what you want and how you get it okay and i think you're charming <laughs> so we have the devil here and uh we have the uh, knave of chalices and i 
I'm sorry, I apologize. This is my cat using the cat litter box. So if this is loud, then I apologize for that. So we have um, the Knave of Cups and we have the Devil. And I think um, probably you are ch very charming and uh, this is why a lot of people are attracted to you. You know, you are uh, your seducer. Maybe, um, yeah, you are a smooth talker or, um, you know, you're very charming. Like when you're a, a, a guy, then I think you're probably a smooth talker, you know, uh, knowing how to make compliments and knowing how to uh, get the girls and if you are a girl then you probably are very charming um, very flirty flirtatious and uh, yeah people are feeling very drawn to you okay Yeah, I think this is all I see for you, pile number three. I hope you like that. I certainly did. Uh, and uh, yeah, if so, then please tune in next week. Okay, bye. Last but not least, welcome back, pile number four. Let's see what what cards you have. My gosh, <laughs> you have details, details. Diana, focused intentions, teaching, you inspire young people to learn, music, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others, you have the water guardian, connect with your emotions, of the sun enjoy success and happiness for the tarot you have where did it start i think there <laughs> you have the six of swords the five of swords you have the two of wands and you have the ace of pentacles I think your emotions leads your way, okay? So um, you are a very balanced person, but I think um, you are a very intuitive person, uh, first and foremost. You're very intuitive, but um, you are almost divinely guided in your... Um, your endeavors um, because um, you connect with your emotion and they show you the way okay um, although you are very focused and detail oriented because this shows me these cards here these two the details details and the Diana card um, both um, they show me that you are um, very um, precise, you know. I mean, when you are shooting a bow, then you have to be very precise to um, get the prey right. And I think you are a very precise worker. You, um, you put um, your focus on details and this is what um, keeps you reach your goal, okay. So... Um, it might seem that you feel uh, that you are like a more mental based person. I mean, you have uh, two swords cards and uh, yeah, one fire and one earth, but two swords. So I think you're very um, a very smart person too. But I think what leads your way is really your emotions, your intuition. And uh, maybe you are a teacher, maybe you are even a music teacher. And, uh, you know, this is very charming, okay? So um, a lot of people like you, they know you, um, even if you are not teaching, um, then you probably have something to do with music and maybe you are teaching others about that. Let's say you just have um, a sweet spot, let's say for jazz, and but 
you tell a lot of people about your hobby, you know, so um, a lot of people can um, benefit from your knowledge, okay? And uh, you, I mean, you are, you are a bundle of happiness, okay? When you are in the room, you lighten up the room. You're like a little sun inside the room, okay? You are a very happy person, um, but very va balanced, you know? I mean, um, you're very happy, but you're not like, you know, head is not in the clouds. You're very grounded and still um, you're very emotional, but not in a, you know, <laughs> in a, in a um, like, let's say, uh, like a lose way, you know, you're not losing yourself. You're just following your intuition, but still stay very grounded. You're very, very uh, balanced. And uh, I think you're always ready to, uh, to leave. I mean, not uh, like in a, in a not literal sense, but you're always um, ready to change something up. You're always ready to take something in. You're always ready to, you're, you're almost like always on the go. You're like, um, you know, if, if an opportunity, I think you are, you know, opportunities come to you. And when you get an opportunity, then you just catch it, okay? It's just like you're always ready. When the opportunity is ahead, you will just catch it, okay? This is what people, oh, you see my cat, Freddy, Freddy. This is, you know, did you see Freddy Mercury? <laughs> Let me introduce you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so uh yeah when you have the opportunity you just snatch it you know and uh this is what people admire because a lot of people um you know they hesitate and you know they think about it but you're always ready okay and you are always ready to rumble okay i think um you uh might think sometimes you might overthink a little bit okay and um this is uh i think people see you as a well thought and well spoken person because i mean you only step up okay and you from from um from struggle, you just go into calmer waters, okay? I think people see you as a well-thought, well-spoken person. So um, you think about it, you think about the solution, even if you have a hard time, even if there are problems, you know, you will find a way, just a very grounded, balanced way to... Um, to uh, uh, sail into smooth waters, okay? So I think people really um, see you as very grounded, very balanced person um, with a good sense of music. Maybe if you play an instrument that uh, makes people love you even more, okay? Yeah, and I think you are tangible. So, um, I don't know why, but this looks to me almost like this. So, I think um, when you give your word, then uh, people can rely on that. Okay, this is very rare in uh, these days. So, people know that they can rely on you. You know, when you say something, it's fixed and you will not back off um, without a reason. Of course, when you get sick or something and you promised something, then you cannot do anything about it. But um, if there is is, um, if there is a chance to fulfill your promise, then you will do. And this is what people really like. And I do too. Yeah, pile number four. This uh, is a really good reading. I hope you liked it. And if so, then I will see you next week. Okay. Bye.